in that year, 98 and 99, you mm. were the PFA Player of the Year, um, Football Writers Player of the Year as well, the year that Manchester United actually won the treble, but you took all these individual accolades. There was a line I remember that George Graham said about you being an entertainer. Do you remember this? And he said, if I want to, want to see an entertainer, I'll go to the circus. I'm not surprised about him saying that. Yeah, he got the best out of you. Yes, because in the way when George Graham signed for, for Spurs, uh, the press asked him questions like, uh, oh, you're going to manage David Ginola? Do you think he's not your type of player? Uh, but what, what, what people forget is he tried to sign me in, back in 93, 94, when we played Arsenal with Paris Saint-Germain in the semi-final of the Cup. And uh, I think in, he is not, he's got a certain ego. He will never say, I love or I like David Ginola. But I know that every time I was doing something nice, he was looking at me and he was doing like, <laughs> be, it never say something nice. Never, never say, oh, that's fantastic. Questions to George Graham, uh, what a game you had tonight, fantastic. And David Ginola, it was just amazing. Yes, but, it was always a but not defending enough, not doing this enough. So you score, you assist, you entertain, you do ev everything. But in a way, we managed to, won the, to win the, the Worthington Cup. The year that Manchester won the treble, you mentioned that, Dave, I was voted Players Player of the Year. Maybe the biggest achievement away from my country, uh, being in England, especially that year. And I had a game with Sir Alex Ferguson, uh, a few years later, and uh, he, came to back, he came back on, the, on that year saying, well, we won the treble and you end up players player of the year that m same season. I said, yes, and, and I was a bit concerned about what he was trying to say. <laughs> and he said, but you know what, I have to mention something to you. He said, most of my players, they voted for you, David. <laughs> OK, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> no tactical voting. <laughs> I got away I with on one. every year at Liverpool. Right, let's... Uh, uh, that's for another, that's for another <laughs> night. Let's Don't take no some players. of your <laughs> questions on Twitter tonight. Um, who was physically or technically the toughest player that you competed against? Uh, I think, as an opponent, uh, I had a lot of difficulties against Lee Dixon most of the time because... Uh, he knew that he had to be very tight to me, and he's smaller than me, so on two, three yards, he's very sharp. Uh, so he knew that uh, once I was playing with Newcastle, uh, I was recorded, not many times in my career, but once uh, he, it was against him. Uh, I had a red card, Ivory. I haven't done anything. He was just... Tackling, tackling all the time, all the time, and you know, pulling in a shirt and insulting me, or French, beep, 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 <laughs> all those words. And I didn't understand everything. Now I know pretty much <laughs> the, the bad words because of that, actually. But Lee Dixon was the toughest one, probably. What, I mean, you played with some quality players as well. We've talked about some of those at Newcastle, um, on two at Spurs, like some George, George Ware as well. Who was the, the best player that you played with? Uh, in different, different ways, but George, we are, uh, we had four years, we played four years together and uh, honestly, it was, um, it was just amazing. Technically, he was good in the air, he was strong, he was a very good man and uh, we won things together. Uh, the year I left, he left to go to AC Milan and he won the Ballon d'Or. He was European uh, best footballer and uh, I really deserve it and it was a pure pleasure to play. Now he's president of Liberia. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> you got him on? Uh, um, you didn't you know that. No, we did. Yeah, I'm saying it's an incredible thing, isn't it? Um, beyond football, a little bit more than Jamie's managing right now. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe mayor of Liverpool in a couple of years' time. Why not? Uh, how much do you think you'd be worth if you were playing in your prime now? I mean, we, we were talking about this earlier, Davy. Two and a half million pounds you cost Newcastle back then. Mm. I don't know. I, I think it, it's, it, it would be terrible for me or Jamie or any players from that time to compare transfer fees, wages, and because it's, we are just... You'd, you'd be 70, 80 million. 
We're yeah. just out of the time, of the, our time. I, I'm very concerned and very surprised how far it will go. Uh, are we going to carry on like that until, I don't know, uh, mm. do we have to, f to put a salary cap uh, to make this, you know, more? Because in, in a way, the world is going in one direction and football is still going in the same direction. I, li I like the fact that football is made for entertainment. I like that, but in a certain way, I don't see football entertaining as much as it did in the past. Hmm. I can see that football is I'm very concerned about the fact that tactically we are more concerned about being close in very tactical battles rather than giving the opportunity and the freedom for creative players to exprime themselves <clears throat> to the best. And that's my concern. I will not mind to pay people a lot of money if, can, if I, every weekend I jump from my seat and I say, because I, I, I can't do that. And this is why people on, who play football on a Sunday afternoon, they don't mind to see people earning money because they say, well, I can play any Sunday afternoon. I will never be able to do that because it's a proper job. This is proper talent. This is a gift. You've been under something and you have a gift. You ask me a question, how ah, you do that sometimes when you receive the ball and you go this way and you, and you pass? I, I can't. I didn't work that because it's about instinct and football should be that. Creativity, instinct, you don't dictate things in football. This is a gift, this is something. When you receive the ball, the ball is your friend. Any position in the space is about how you're going to move around, how you're going to play, knowing where are your teammates, your opponents. It's about that, it's about... I love this game. <laughs> we nearly got the tears, David, as well. We think you're priceless. We have loved listening to your stories tonight. We've loved uh, your company. Merci beaucoup. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Come and see us again Thank sometime. Thank you for having me. It's been great.